Caspafungin will target something that no other antifungal does, the fungal cell wall. So just think of that caspofungin being so fun and different that it affects the fungal cell wall. It'll inhibit your 1,3-beta-D-glucan synthesis, and that's a key structural polysaccharide. So that makes your echinocandins very unique, but if a candida strain develops a mutation in the glucan synthesis gene, then it can be game over for your caspofungin. It'll no longer work. And so this is crucial in your neutropenic patients, like your chemotherapy recipient in this practice question. They've got fever despite antibiotics, and the blood cultures show candida and a mutation that affects cell wall polysaccharide uh, synthesis. Which drug is this most likely resistant to? The answer is caspofungin, because it inhibits the cell wall synthesis by blocking that glucan production, and so it's the cell wall that's changed, and so the cell wall drug will no longer work. Amphocytarin B targets ergosterol, so that's the cell membrane stuff. Fluctazine is going to in, um, inhibit the fungal DNA RNA synthesis. Griseofluvin is going to inhibit your mitosis, fungal mitosis, and it works in your dermatophytes. Itraconazole is an azole that's going to block your ergosterol synthesis, similar to amphocytarin B, and turbo Terbenafine inhibits, inhibits your squalene epoxidase. If this is helpful, then like and subscribe.